Welcome to Shooting It Straight with Stan. I'm your host, Stan, the Annuity Man, America's annuity agent license in all 50 states. Today's topic is annuity light switch lifetime income guarantees. So annuity light switch. I want you to envision a light switch. You just shut it on and off, right? When you need light, you shut it on. When you need it to be dark, you shut it off. There are annuity types out there that allow you to shut things on and off, that allow you to shut income on and off. And you say, wait a minute, Stan, and am I? What are you talking about? Why would I ever do that? Well, maybe tax laws change in the future and you need to shut down that income stream from the annuity at that time in order not to get taxed and to wait for another administration to get it. Or maybe the income that you planned on, you don't need anymore. So instead of taking the lifetime income, which is a combination of return of principal plus interest, and it's going to draw down on the asset, instead of continuing the income, you just shut it off and you let it accumulate for death benefit. There's a myriad of reasons of why you would want to stop taking income. Not all the time. Most of the time, once you decide on income, you turn it on and it's and it's over. It's, it's irrevocable. There are three types of lifetime income products that are pretty much irrevocable. One's a single premium immediate annuity. That's for income starting from 30 days to up to a year. Then there's a deferred income annuity, which is single premium immediate annuity that you defer past a year. And then there's a qualified longevity annuity contract, which is a deferred income annuity that you use inside of an IRA or qualified account. All three of those are what's called annuitized products. All three of those are like ripping the knob off a water faucet, meaning income's coming, whether you want it or not. It's an irrevocable income pension contract of which we can structure so that 100% of any unused money goes to the beneficiary. But as long as you're breathing and or on a ventilator, it's going to pay. So those are the, the three annuitized type products. But there are a couple more out here that you need to be aware of that I call light switch products. And those light switch products, the first one is a multi-year guarantee annuity. A multi-year guarantee annuity is a CD product. It's the annuity industry version of a CD. Don't make it any more difficult than that, please, please, please. There's no triggering of anything. There's no market attachments, no annual fees. It's a yield, like a CD, that you lock in for a specific period of time, like a CD. There's no annual fees, like a CD. There's no moving parts, like a CD. There's no market attachments, like a CD. And you can choose your duration, like a CD. It's called a multi-year guarantee annuity. Now, a lot of multi-year guarantee annuities allow you to take out interest. All right, so let's just say you're getting X percent interest on a five-year multi-year guarantee annuity. You can take the interest out and never touch the principal. So at the end of the five years, you've taken all the interest out on a monthly sim or monthly or quarterly, semi-annual, annual basis. Your choice, by the way. And then at the end, you have all your money intact and you can do what you want to with it. You can take it back, you can roll it to another one, et cetera. But let's just say you chose one of those that you can take out interest penalty free and you do that. You can shut it on and off like a light switch. So in other words, you might take interest out for six months and then something changes or you just don't need the income. You can shut it off and let it accumulate and compound. By the way, interest on my guess compounds with 99% of them. There's like a couple of unicorns out there, 1% that are simple interest, but 99% of compound interest. So you can shut it on and off like a light switch. So think about that. You have a CD type product and CDs are issued by banks and brokerage firms credit unions, those type of people, okay? But multi-year guarantee annuities, the annuity industry version of a CD are issued by life insurance companies that issue annuities. So the claims paying ability of the life insurance company is very, very important, but we're talking about light switch income with annuities. That's the, that's the first way. The second way are what's called income riders. And if you go to my site, I have the only I have the only site currently that has income rider calculators you can run 24/7 365. The consumer can. You, that would be you, okay? Um this isn't for agents. We we don't work with agents. We are the agent, okay? Stand the annuity man. I'm the agent. 
But income riders are typically attached to either variable or index annuities. We don't sell variable annuities because we don't sell anything that has the potential to go down in value. We sell index annuities, but in, with an income rider, we don't look at the index at, at all. We don't look at the caps and the spreads and the participation rates and upfront bonuses, upfront bonuses. No, we don't look at any of that. We look at the income rider. If you draw a line down a blank sheet of paper, left-hand side is the index option side that every jack wagon agent out there is going to try to focus on. Go look at the, If you'd owned it 10 years ago, you'd have got this 7 to 10% return. Wrong. Okay, what we look at is the other side of the ledger, which is the income rider, the contractual guarantee of the policy. Once you strip strip this down, in other words, you look at index annuities with income riders, and you're only focused on the income riders, which you should, because you only in, should own an annuity for what it will do, not what, what it might do, not some hypothetical or theoretical back-tested unicorn chasing a butterfly nonsense. You're looking at the contractual guarantee of the income rider. Once you do that, then you've commoditized that product, and then we can go shop all carriers for the highest contractual guaranteed income rider payment. But here's the thing. Income riders are not attached to index news are not annuitized. They're called drawdown products. Wait a minute, Stan. What does drawdown mean in Southern? It means subtraction. <laughs> That's what it means. You're taking income out, return of principal plus interest, and it's subtracting from the total. But with income riders, it's a light switch. You can shut it on and off. Now, Here's the catch. When you shut it back on, it's going to shut on, it's going to turn back on at the exact payment level that you shut it off. In other words, don't don't be Gordon Ke Gecko out there go, I know I'd play this game stand. I found the arbitrage moment. I'm going to shut it off. And then when I shut it back on, it's going to be more. No, it's not. It's going to turn back on at the same income level that you when you shut it off. But again, it might make sense for you to be able to shut it off. You might just say, we don't need the income anymore, or I don't need the income anymore. I want it to grow as a death benefit. Or, you know, Johnny President gets in and Johnny President goes, all you evil annuity people out there that scrimped and saved and planned, you're evil is what you are. You're evil. And we're going to tax your annuity income at 94% because you're evil and you're rich and you don't care about the common man. Hey, don't laugh. <laughs> it can happen. So if Johnny President does that, or Joanne President, then you shut that income rider off. You flip the switch. You call somebody and say, flip the switch, Stan. Flip it. Flip it. Flip it and forget it. And then when who and then when whoever gets in next and goes, that Johnny and Joanne President, that was crazy talk. And we're going to lower it again. And then you flip it back on. So light switch lifetime income is with income riders. Light switch income, which is peeling off the interest with MIGAs, but both allow you to shut it on and off like a light switch. So if that detail and benefit is important to you, then you need to let us know that. But I wanted to let you know that it's available. That's the big, the big thing about annuities is that, and I've done thousands of videos and hopefully we'll do thousands more. And most of the topics come from conversations that I have with people and they ask good questions. I write the questions down and we do videos so I can educate people so that this is evergreen content that you can refer back to because I talk a little fast and you can go back and listen to it again and say, did he say what I think he just said, Martha? Did he? What did, what did that boy say? What did that boy say? I didn't talk so fast. This way you can understand it. There are annuities that aren't light switch annuities, SPIAs, DIAs, QLEX. But there are annuities that are light switch for income. MIGAs, it's not lifetime income. It's just peeling off interest off a CD type product. And then income riders, which are lifetime income products. Now, not to get into the weeds, but there are some variable annuities out there that have annuitized riders, but they're not on income indexed annuities. We don't sell variable annuities. Again, nothing against them. We just don't sell them. We won't sell anything that has a potential to go down in value. But index annuities, when we look at the income riders, we don't look at the indexes at all. We don't look at the index annuity story. We only look at the income riders. Why? Good question. It's the contractual guarantee of the policy. And we don't look at anything other than the contractual guarantee of the policy. And once again, just to, because I'm driving this point home every time I get a chance, when you buy annuities for contractual guarantees only, 
you then commoditize the strategy so that you can shop all carriers for the highest contractual guarantee. So there are such animals and products and strategies out here for light switch annuity income. There are two of them currently that I believe in, and that's all that matters. What do you believe in, Stan? I believe that all people should, should buy annuities for the contractual guarantees. I believe that they should base their decisions on what it will do, not what it might do. Why am I talking like a bad politician? That's not good. Why don't politicians just have just talk? Why do they have to talk like this and have to intonate every card? Da, 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 da? What is that taught? Is there a school? Is there a camp? How about a guy or a galette getting up there and saying, just talking? How about just talking? How about that? Maybe I run. No, I'm not going to do <laughs> Standing there, the media. the media would have a field day, but guess who else would have a field day with the, with the media? That would be me. That would be something that they would want no part of. Trust me. And that shooting it straight was Stan. Light switch annuities. Didn't know they existed, did you? No, because I just named them that. And now they're going to be a category. Why? Because I'm Stan the annuity man. I'm America's annuity agent. And I'll see you next week.